Hey, it's Stefan and Rachel Hello. on a Gender Career Chat. I'll try not to slouch. Okay. 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 So, um, this week's topic is kind of um, a lot of different topics, kind of, and and kind of rambly and <laughs> uh, kind of hard to define. So, um, I we guess we can do rambly, though. Yeah, we can do Sorry. rambly. So, but I think like what I got from watching Freshly Charles' video and from watching Sam's video is kind of. Um, having uh, a personal identity which may or may not match up to how people see you and then being in a relationship that people may or may not see as reflecting that personal identity which is probably rambling makes no sense to people but like their example was identifying as a dyke and being in like and being a trans person and being in a relationship with like whoever and yeah so <laughs> Um, I guess probably like most people on the channel, I would say I, my relationships are queer. Definitely. <laughs> no matter who I'm with, because I'm queer, and I don't think that would really change depending on who I'm with, because, yeah. Um, and then like they were talking about like a lot of trans guys wanting to date straight girls or date gay boys, and... I'm definitely in the camp yeah, of uh, <laughs> uh, <seriously? laughs> of uh, of liking the um, the queer ladies at yeah. the moment. Lucky for me, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I've never really wanted to date straight girls or straight boys. So so gay girls and gay boys. Here I am. <laughs> Yay! Uh. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, one thing that it kind of brought up for me was um, there's this one point where I was like really tranksty and doing my transition thing and being on tea and whatever and I had this whole like oh my god what if I'm gay thing because I had been reading and listening to all of these you know trans guys who had just started on tea and their sexuality is all shifty and stuff like that and I mean part of it's probably you know because it's kind of um, society doesn't really think that uh masculine looking females can be bi they just assume they're lesbians so it's kind of hard to express that want to be with a guy if you're an androgynous looking female person so part of it's that and part of it's probably you know sexuality shifting and part of it's like wanting to be accepted by a guy and some of it's just you know hey you're cute mm, um testosterone helps yeah testosterone just makes you horny for everything everything looks pretty good yeah <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so I had this whole, you know, what if I'm gay, what if I want to be with a guy thing or whatever, and, like, then, you know, Rachel, instead of being like, oh my god, this is a tragedy <laughs> or whatever, was just like, well, as long as you like me, it doesn't matter. So I was like, well, I do like you, and I want to be with you, and so you can identify, like, however you want, as long as, like, you know you're with the person that you want to be with so I can totally be a flaming gay man and be in love with Rachel at the same time and that's awesome for both of us <laughs> and <Okay. laughs> oh okay um but yeah so I would say if I wasn't with Rachel, though, then I would probably go the exploring guys route because I've never really gone that way. I've never even seen a penis in real life. Just like that. Yeah, it makes me a special unique snowflake, so I kind of avoid seeing penises just so I can say that. <laughs> but um, is, is the color totally changed when you got up. Oh, that's funny. I have the magic. You took the Technicolor away when you left your magical yeah, skirt. I have on this, like, really gay skirt today. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah that's kind of funny, because if I wasn't with Stefan, I would probably be with a female-identified person. <laughs> but we just happen to be together, and it's awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. And, yeah, and we get called dykes and faggots on the street. Yeah. <laughs> so Less so in Tucson, though, which is refreshing. Yeah, Tucson's nice. Um, hmm. I know, and like our main, you know, social network is drag kings. So, so 
so yeah it's just sort of gender fucked by default yeah and like i mean they're mostly lesbians but there's like you know two other trans guys and so and we're all at like different levels of whatever because like i've had top surgery and i'm not on t and they're on t with no top and whatever and sometimes i'm jealous of them because they can have boobs and be more gender fucky that way and i'm sure sometimes yeah they have the the facial hair and stuff and i'm sure sometimes like they envy some things of me and whatever so it's kind of interesting we're all just like really hot and amazing and beautiful (laughs) so (laughs) Um, it's kind of I like that that better than trying to fit into the trans community per se in Tallahassee because that didn't seem quite yeah like the the trans guy community that I had in Tallahassee was a lot more like machismo whatever and that and all the weird. the girlfriends were very like femi and like oh what is this trans yeah thing? and like it was really interesting because there like you were relegated to like the partner position where yeah. you know it kind of denied your own gender fuckiness on some level where this is kind of fun because it's we're like both involved everybody's gender fucky together yeah. in one mm-hmm. one big happy gender fuck gender pile. fuck <laughs> pile of hotness um yeah um mm, i don't know i mean uh, i worried a lot about you know when i transition i'll like lose the queer community and stuff like that but (laughs) it totally doesn't happen. happen at all no and nobody sees us as a straight couple pretty much so (laughs) They like to gender us the same. Um, so so I can be a dyke some days and a fag some days and mm-hmm. and just a boy some days and whatever and our, our relationship feels like different on different days too. <laughs> like mm-hmm. sometimes it's just like, Oh my god, we're so gay. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Even when we're out, it's like, oh, do you want to be a boy with me, or do you want me to be a girl with we you in the bathroom? Go follow each other into the restroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It's it's fun having options. I like options. Like I mean, I don't know. I'm a lot more comfortable with myself and with you know everything right now. But it doesn't make it necessarily more easy to define. It's just that the definitions don't really matter as much anymore because it's just just whatever (laughs) yeah and like you know just acknowledging that you can be something different from time to time and like you know if you say you're one thing one day or you say something to your partner you know about like oh you look so pretty or you look so handsome or whatever like they know that that's not the only way that they're viewing you that's just at the moment (laughs) yeah it's kind of nice since we're a monogamous long-term type couple of it um we can be a lot of different things with each other mm-hmm. and it's, it's a lot within one relationship mm-hmm. all rolled into one. Oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yes that yeah um i don't know is there anything else i don't know um the new topic list is awesome and sam yeah. you did an amazing job I can't wait to see what you guys come up with some more. Yeah, sad to see JT and Dylan all go away, but hopefully they'll come back again someday. And props to Sam for taking over and doing like the administrative stuff because yeah, I can barely make my videos on time. So, <laughs> yay! This one's actually on the right day though. So that's rare. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Okay, uh, I think that's that's it. That's pretty so. much it. Words are dumb, and we like all of them, and none of them, and... Yes, everything and nothing. Mystery. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, bye. Bye.